Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's Friday, so it's Flashback Friday time. I'm taking my ColourPop Yes Please eyeshadow palette for this week's Flashback Friday. I wanted to do like a nice little sunset, transitioning into fall kind of look, but like we're not ready to leave summer behind quite yet. You know, that's the vibe. Let's go ahead and jump into the makeup. All right, I don't know how well you guys can hear the torrential downpour that's going on outside right now. I can't control the weather, so we're just gonna have to ignore the rain and thunder and lightning that's happening. I'm cold too. Well, damn, Jackie, I can't control the weather. But as you can see, my eyes are prepped and primed. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer per usual. And for this week's Flashback Friday, I wanted to use the ColourPop Yes Please palette. It's kind of funny. I wanted to do like a really bright eye look on this very gloomy day. I didn't plan that. I didn't know it was gonna rain. And here I am wearing my sunflower shirt. And I want to do like a yellow, orangey, red eye look. I want to do like yellow, orange, red, and then like this maroon liner I have. I feel like that'd be really cute. So that's what I'm going for. I'm gonna take this fluffy packing brush and first grab this yellow shade right here called Mischief. And I'm gonna pack that to the first third of my eyelid. Oh my God, it's so bad out there. I don't wanna go to work. Also ignore my wet hair. After I got out of the shower, that's when it started to rain really badly. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna straighten and do my hair just go out in the rain so just enjoy the mop on my head so we're just packing this color into the first third of our eyes to start this like three color look taking another flat packing brush i'm gonna grab this orange shade right here called big cocktails i'm gonna place that right next to that yellow and because these colors are so close and they are next to each other on the rainbow they'll start to like blend themselves. You do have to work a little bit to blend it, but it won't be nearly as hard as trying to blend like a green and like a purple together, you know? Okay, taking this red shade right here called Spoiled on yet another flat packing brush. If you only own one of these, honestly, just take one, wipe it with like a wet wipe or a towel, and then move on to the next color. You don't need three of the same kind of brush to do this look. Just take one, wipe it, move on to the next color. It'll actually probably be easier to blend because the color from before is on the brush already. But we're gonna take that red and place it in the outer corner. Okay, so I love the way the yellow, orange, and red are transitioning into each other, but obviously like my crease area is kind of a mess because I don't have a color there. So I am gonna take a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna take this really light pink in the palette called Champs. I don't wanna to take too much of that color because I really want the main focus of my lid to be the yellow, orange, and red, but I do wanna blend it just a little bit. So I'm gonna take that really light pinky peach and just blend. And then honestly from here, just keep going back and forth with those colors, building and blending until you're happy with the opacity and the way they look. I do wanna take this like matte white bone color called Full Zip and just place it on my brow bone to kinda of clean everything up a little bit. Do you want to do some liner? I'm going to take this maroon liner from ColourPop in the shade Joyride. I just feel like the maroon will go really well with like the sunset vibes I've going on. It's kind of like we're transitioning summer into fall here with this eye look. You could of course use a black or no liner at all if you're following along at home. I just feel like this maroon's going to be really nice. Plus I've been loving the maroon eyeliner lately. It's kind of been my thing. And if you've been watching me, you know the drill. I can never do my eyeliner on camera so I'm gonna do my best, but if I go from this to eyeliner in two seconds, just know I, I tried, okay? Okay, liner's on. I don't think I got a single part of that on camera. I'm sorry. I literally just have to be so close to my mirror that it's just impossible. I apologize. For lashes, I do wanna take my Bold Face Makeup Lashes in the style Lashes Out. Okay, I'm gonna wait for those to dry. I'm gonna take my Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Still waiting for my lashes to dry, so I'm going to take my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It's an oily skin girl must-have. Or boy. Girl or boy. It's an oily skin must-have. God, that rain. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's, like, horrible. I don't even want to go outside and go to work. Okay, I think I can go ahead and apply my lashes now. All right, lashes are on. Let's go ahead and apply some foundation. I have my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue foundation here. I've been obsessed with it for like six weeks at this point. I think it's like the only foundation I've been using. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that with my Dose of Colors sponge. I did purchase that new ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. 
and I'm really excited to get in the mail. I did like two day shipping because I want to get it in the mail ASAP, review it for you guys, and get that uploaded. Because I feel like I'm going to like it a lot for like my no makeup makeup days. Which I feel like I don't have a ton of those in the fall and winter time. That's definitely more of like a summertime, springtime vibe for me. But you know, you can always just wait and wear it in the summertime. I also did purchase the Kathleen Lights Times Color Pop So Jaded Palette. I feel like it's a little late to review that palette, but if y'all wanna see like a three looks in one or like a four looks in one, let me know. I feel like a lot of people have been doing that because it's such a big palette. But you know, I got it just cause I simply want it not to review it. So if you guys don't wanna see me like use it at all, it's fine too. But I kinda wanna do like a two looks in one or three or four, you know, whatever I'm kinda feeling that day. You know, whatever you guys are wanting. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna take my Natasha Denona uh, Trans Fixed Matte Concealer, and I'm gonna set in place with my Rimmel Stay Matte Loose Setting Powder. Now setting my under eye with that powder. Okay, I did use a sponge to set my under eye, but I'm gonna take a big brush and grab some more powder and set the rest of my face. For bronzer, I'm gonna take my Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. Oh Lord, again, a fucking again. Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. Same old fucking shit. I feel like this part of my flashback Fridays are always so boring because it's the same old, same old bullshit. Like, I don't know. I just have my products that I've been loving. Also, it's a very warm tone bronzer and these are very warm tone eyes. So, I just like it was fitting. At least it's like a drugstore product, you know? But I'm just going to bronze up my skin with this powder. Cheek, forehead, nose, jawline, the works. And then for blush, I want to take my Alamar Cosmetics uh, Blush Trio in Fair Light. I'm going to mainly take Scorcher, but mix a little bit of this shade right here called Castaway. I'm going to look so like sun-kissed and warm-toned, and then I'm going to go outside and get drenched on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to my lower lash line. I'm going to take this little brush right here from Pixi. This is the Pixi EO3 brush. And I'm going to grab that yellow once again, Mischief. And I'm kind of just doing everything I did to the top to the bottom, like the yellow here, orange here, and red in the outer corner area. So we're going to place that yellow on the first third of our lower lash line. I'm going to place it a little bit in the inner corner too, just so it like connects. Taking a different little fluffy brush. This is my little Dust of Colors brush. It comes in like all their five pan palettes. I'm now going to grab that orange color called Big Cocktails. And I'll place it right next to that yellow in the center of our lower lash line. And then for the red, I'm actually going to take a more stiff, tiny blending brush just to place the red. And if I need to blend it out some more, I'll take a fluffy brush. But I don't want the red to be like too intense in the outer corner. Because I just feel like it can make you look kind of like zombie-ish. Place it in the outer corner on the stiff brush. Yeah, that's better. And just like with the crease, I'm going to take this fluffy brush, but it's like a small fluffy brush. And I'm going to grab that peachy shade called Champs. And I'm just going to brush that underneath all three colors to blend them. So I'm now going to spray my face with my Pixi Glow Mist to give myself more radiance. I'm going to touch on my eyebrows with my Jar Cosmetics Brow Bar to go. It's just some brow powder I like to run through my eyebrows to get all the eyeshadow and face powder out of them. And then for highlight, <laughs> Anastasia times Amrezy, we're not even remotely surprised. But y'all know I'm trying to use this up for Project Pan, so it's not like I'm trying to like promote this item in sales because it's no longer available. Plus, can you really beat this glow? You just can't. They need to make this like a permanent item. Anastasia, you're not watching this, but if you are like, let's make it permanent. Amrezy? Talk to your girl. Okay, running some brow gel through my brow hairs. I'm gonna take this ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade Get Paid, a shimmering champagne, and I'm gonna place it on my waterline. Taking my Smashbox Super Fanned Out Mascara, I'm gonna apply some mascara to my lower lash line now. For my lips, I'm gonna keep them nude and simple. It'll go nice with the eyes. I'm gonna take my ColourPop Dream Date Lippy Stick. And I'm gonna go over top of that with my ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Attention Hall. And then finally setting it all in place with my ColourPop All Star Setting Spray. Wow, very ColourPop today. All right guys, and here is the final and completed look using the ColourPop Yes Please Eyeshadow Palette for Flashback Friday. I mean, like, is it revolutionary? 
No. But like, is it cute? Yeah, that should be my Tinder bio. Am I revolutionary? No, but am I cute? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.